So I just finished reading Harvest by Jim Crace and according to everyone in the world, most people, it's about to win the Man Booker Prize 2013. I bought this book after it was longlisted for the Booker Prize. Lots of people were saying that it was likely to be shortlisted and that it would quite possibly win. So I thought I would try and get ahead of the game and read it before everyone else started reading it. And I must say when I first started reading, I thought this is fantastic, but probably it's not going to be for me. Harvest is set in a non-specific time and setting, although it's obvious that it was at least a couple of centuries ago. And I'm more used to reading stuff that's set in more recent times. Books that are written with language that is perhaps more economical, uh, short sentences to the point, because that's the sort of stuff that I like to write as well as read. But Harvest is anything but economical in its language. It is beautifully written. It is lyrical. It's like reading a giant poem with sentences and stuff. And so within a few pages, I'd realize that my initial assumption that I wasn't going to enjoy this book was going to be absolute nonsense and I really got into it. By the time I got to the end I actually looked back and thought cracky not a lot happened there but I really enjoyed it but then I started to think about all the things that had happened and um, I realized that there were lots of them. The book is about a village and a group of villagers who have been there for decades, centuries, and this community is completely torn apart over the course of seven days. First of all, a group of strangers arrive and the villagers don't take too kindly to their arrival and they blame them for all kinds of things that happen without really looking into the facts. And then things get worse when the landowner comes along and decides that they're all gonna to have to move out at some point because he's changing the usage of the land to sheep instead of barley. And this makes for a really tight setting. It means that everything that happens happens in it seems to me a few hundred yards in this very small village within this very small community people who've known each other for years and years who seem to be all related in some way or another but the novel is really held together by an absolutely brilliant first person narrator Craig's repeatedly fooled me by thinking that he was doing some clever foreshadowing when the following chapter I would think well I know what's going to happen here but then actually the narrator would then say what I told you earlier on well I kind of left out a little bit that was quite important and having found this bit out now you probably think a little less of me and one of the important things to note is that the narrator is one of the villagers but he's only there by marriage he was actually working for one of the landowners for a number of years so he's kind of an outsider but he's also within the community as well and that kind of difficult position is really it's also torn apart really by the events of the novel so all in all i loved the book i thought it was a great read it was quite gripping for a, a novel set in such a small place without any um, fireworks and guns going off and stuff like that it was also quite sinister i found i found it really quite creepy in places and i think that was probably intentional and that came through both a lack of detail but also through this lyrical language the atmosphere that was created in a way you're led to believe that this village at one point was the most wonderful place in the world to live with this real tight-knit harmonious community but as the novel progresses you realize that actually it probably isn't a fantastic place to live at all because like with most places they have their history and they have their memories and they have all those things that tie us to places in some way or another and uh, those things are impossible to escape no matter where you live or what community you may be part of. I haven't read any of the other books on the Booker shortlist but I do suspect that this may well win. All the reviews seem to be extremely positive for this book and therefore that means that it will probably win the Booker Prize and if not then you should read it anyway. But just read it anyway. You don't have to read a book just because it's won a prize. Read my book, that's not won a prize. I've just realised that there's stuff all over the bed behind me. Amateur YouTubing right there.